It is almost 10 o'clock on a Friday and I'm bored, so here's all the shit in my apartment that has either hidden meaning or hidden usage. In front of my TV here, I have this moss ball. I don't know how the fuck it's alive. I haven't done shit to it since I got it. But on the top here is a, what are these called? NFC tags? It hides in plain sight and if I tap my phone to it, it pulls up a note that brings up my Wi-Fi password so that way I can just show it to people who visit instead of having to like spell it all out because it's a weird one. Over in the office, I have like a little water station set up. This is actually uh, not a real carafe. It's a wine decanter that I just filled with water because it looks fancy. There are allegations that it's actually full of vodka. I will not be answering those without my lawyer present. In front of me is where I keep whatever candle I have on hand. And then this little horn here actually has a bunch of like matches and striker paper inside. I've definitely shown this off on video before, but it means in one fluid motion, I could just light a match and call it good and use it to light the candle that's right in front of it. I try my best to hide cables, but this is really hard with the TV and Xbox setup. So I actually shoved a lot of them just like very violently in here just to kind of keep them out of sight as best I can. I'm also extremely well known for being a D&D nerd and you wouldn't notice it normally just passively in my apartment, but sometimes if you're perceptive, you can see little hints. For example, some of the coasters in my apartment are actually engraved in a way that makes them functional D&D maps. I got those from the Crafty Owlbear. I did a video on it forever ago. Other more subtle nerd shit includes a set of bookends that are shaped like D20s, this blanket over here that's sherpa material on one side, but a map on the other. Uh, there's some spell scrolls scattered around everywhere from skeleton key games that actually represent spells from d and I usually joke that if someone comes over and they can correctly identify all of the spell scrolls in the apartment, then they can spend the night. But other than that, they have to leave. My TV stand isn't a real TV stand. It's just one of these like Ikea cubby things. And normally you can see straight through them, but I didn't want my wall to be visible on the other side. So I actually hung velvet in the back of each of these just to make it look a little bit cleaner. Almost every single light in my apartment is a Gobi light. And so I can change the colors or set automations and things like that for my phone. And it's basically like a Philips, but a lot cheaper. I highly recommend it as a starter kit. This right here is the mug wall. I've made a video on it before because you guys really liked it. It's literally just command hooks and then my mugs. So super easy. Pretty much everything in the kitchen has also been moved to these bulk containers. A lot of them have labels and stuff like that that I got off of, I think it's called paper and pear on Etsy. Basically it means I can buy in bulk and not have the labels call me out for being cheap. I live in an apartment so I can't actually paint the walls so what I did was I took a vinyl sticker off of Amazon and then painted that and then stuck that to the wall. Around the outside is a Govi rope light so I can change the colors of this or turn it rainbow and then on the inside is my miniature painting station. Now I cannot recommend this enough. I use these like acrylic nail polish holders to keep the paints in so it looks clean. I can see all the colors and the names without anything being obscured. The bedroom doesn't actually have all that much hidden shit in it. I will say I have a skull. There's a lot of skulls around the apartment. Here's skull number two. And then skull number three is over here. It's very much like an earthy vibe across the whole apartment mixed with like these industrial vibes from all the black everywhere. Then as more subtle nerd shit, I also have a sword, which no joke, it has a kill count of two, mostly because I accidentally stabbed holes in two separate duvet covers while wielding it. So don't do that. When I first moved into this apartment, this little alcove in the corner was weirdly shaped and I did not know what to do with it. So I followed a tutorial that I saw here on TikTok where I threw down a blue tarp and then some white gravel from Home Depot over it. And then I used garden edging, don't laugh to like keep it all inside. And now it's like my workout station. Do not ask me if I actually work out. The answer is no. I will say I hate the way that the thermostat looks in my apartment. So I just took this art piece and hung it right over it just comes off. There are two hooks there only because I mismeasured. So it kind of covers two things. One of which is my failures. I was just too lazy to take the second hook down. So give me a break. The second bedroom in my apartment has been converted into my office and I use it for three different purposes. This corner right here is the streaming setup, the gaming setup, the miniature painting station. You can tell because of all the unpainted minis up there. Towards the center here, we have the desk where I do my day job. And then across from that in the corner is the vanity where I do my makeup. I mostly point this out because if you're gonna have a room used for several different purposes, it can help to have something like a rug here that distinguishes one area from another. I absolutely hate having clutter in my apartment, but at the same time I collect tabletop board games and so I need a place to put them. Standard board games and card games go in that basket. Any sort of tabletop RPGs that aren't D&D go on the bookshelf. Ones that are D&D related go here if they're officially published from Wizards of the Coast and then over in the corner if they're a third party supplement. One of my games is pretty aesthetically pleasing to have out. It's called Kingdom Death Monster, so I just put it up on the bookshelves over there. And then one of my favorite games, Tainted Grail, comes in a fuck ton of boxes and is really difficult to store. And so I hide it in plain sight. That right there is the art book if people want to look at it, but the actual game itself is spread into several boxes that are hidden in these little cubbies here. But yeah, that's the apartment.